What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail! Period! Guys, I'm back with another video. And today, I will be doing the first step of the Irish sea moss. So what you need to do is buy some Irish sea moss. You can get this at your Aikens, your Whole Foods, wherever you can buy it. Then you're going to put in a strainer and go to your sink and rinse it. Because it has sand and other stuff in the Irish sea moss that you don't want to eat and put in your body. We're just going to give that a nice rinse and I'll be back in a minute. So this is what your Irish sea moss is going to look like after you get finished rinsing it. It turned from like a brownish color to like a whitish color. It's not really, it's like an off-white. It's kind of yellow. But as you can tell, it looks kind of white. Okay, so now we have a bowl with our seaweed in it. So now I'm just going to fill it up with water. Daddy. So now we have our seaweed and it needs to be covered. So. Now we have it covered, just put a lid on and wait for tomorrow. So now this is the second day, day two, and I let the Irish sea moss sit overnight in this bowl so it's the next day. So now I'm going to put the Irish sea moss into the boiling water. The texture is slimy. I think I'm going to actually cut this into smaller pieces. So. I got the Irish sea moss and I got a knife because I couldn't find any scissors. You can get John Wick seven bullets. The high table is giving you seven days. Seven days for what exactly? To settle your affairs and find a new home for your. Time to wait for the Irish sea moss to soften up so I can add more in there because I still have some in this bowl that I'm going to add into the pot but I just wanted to like start shrinking in size and get tender and soft before I add the rest in or else it'll just overflow the pot. So, yeah, towel to dry my hands. So basically what I have is a wooden spoon and I'm just going to use it to, you know, mesh it down a little, kind of stir it. So I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. So this is what I have in the pot so far. And I'm just mushing it down a little. And you definitely don't want to put a top on this or it will overflow. Like it's about to do right now. So I'm probably going to just have to transfer this to a bigger pot. Okay y'all, hold on. <laughs> now. So I will get back to you guys when it all turns into a gel. So now we have our pot. We're gonna pour it in. Can you give me an apron if it's not one? Okay. Smell the green beans. I'll just let them out the mold. So we're gonna put a top on. So now this is what our concoction looks like. You still see steam and that's why the side of it is wet because it is still hot. But we are done so now I get to transfer it into two bowls. Well we'll see because this is about 3.5 ounces right here. Let me see how much this is. This is 
Yeah, it's four ounces. You can see on the side. I don't know if you'll be able to see it.